Hi everyone and welcome back to Serbia. After being stranded in Belarus for three months, I returned to Belgrade to finish what I started. Among other things, we've had Chevap Sisi. Honestly, I could have got like 10 of these. Been to Zeman. It feels like that. It feels like I've gone from like the bigger city to the smaller area. Done an epic food tour with Igor from Belgrade Eats. Let's get going. Scaled brutalist architecture in Novi Belgrad and explored the former Yugoslavia's history in a 70s Zastava. What more is there to see? Enjoy the flavor because Rakia has a lot of flavor. It does. Right, let's get started. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back. We are today doing, what are we doing, Igor? Uh, we're doing a hike up to uh, Košutnjak. Um, it's a hill and a forest nearby. Cool. And uh, we took a detour to an abandoned factory slash refinery. Thing, yes, so. abandoned Belgrade. That is the theme today. And welcome back to Igor. <laughs> let's get going. Look what we found. Abandoned keyboard, Amiga 500. It's got windows, so it must be recently. There's another one over there. Right, should we get up here? Um, sure, we can try. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I may be 38, but I'm still relatively flexible. <laughs> Oh, it's just the, uh, the random glass falling off the window. What are all these on the floor? Rice boxes. Um, the company that makes plasma. From, um, no way. <laughs> plasma yeah, makes it return. It is um, um, a box of plasma, or it was once. Yeah, ancient plasma. I think it was built somewhere in like the 1910s or maybe before, uh, in the 1900s. We don't know why it was abandoned. Uh, yeah, I think it was abandoned in the 50s or something, I'm uh, not sure. Stairway that goes to nowhere. Interesting. Mm. I don't know if anyone lives here. Yeah. Mysterious liquids on the floor, could there be, could, could there be a resident? or something there's a desk there's a bit of paper uh, put thing down there it's a the paper oh hang on a minute I think this is what this is to do with that rice thing magic Belgrad what is magic Belgrad you know, I can't see any dates on these oh 1999 Magic. What is magic? It is spelt magic. I love magic. Don't we all, Hans? Did we actually say that it's a sugar refinery? I'm sure. Um, I'm I can't remember. Well, it was a sugar refinery. Um, so we're going upstairs now. Lots of graffiti. 2013. signs of life. Apart from a, is that a red bull? Yeah. yeah someone's been here recently. <laughs> Walking over crumpled pit bits of plaster and concrete and glass with no with no regard to your safety. <laughs> but that's life. I think we just discovered who magic were. It looks like they're a cleaning company because there are things like silicon free, wash and shine, lots of that. I guess they, and barcodes. Cobwebs. Oh, nothing was lost. 
Biograd, Yugoslavia. Yeah, um, that's the actual um, address we're at right now. Aha, uh -huh. there we go, the focus is better now. Yeah, not Serbia, Yugoslavia. Yeah, this bit's cool. It looks. So you said there's like a cafe as well? Yeah, uh, this is the, the outside bit is the cafe. And this building's like half collapsed up there. And windows all smashed. Oh, no! Hello, Hans. Oh, no! 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 Right, <laughs> we've taken a break from exploring abandoned sugar refineries or plasma factories. We've got some food, right? Uh, yes, we got a few uh, shish, uh, shish kebab, which is like a Serbian version of a shish kebab. And this, it's wrapped in bacon. <laughs> this just became a food video. So what is it exactly? So pita or like pita um, bread? Kind of yeah, thing. it's like a pita bread that's uh, been baked like a, what do you call them? Like a bun? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the meat is, I think, a mix of pork and beef, and it's wrapped in uh, pancetta. Beautiful. Um, look at the size of this. This is massive. Humongous. It's not beautiful. So you wouldn't normally have this at, what time is it? 12 o'clock? Yeah, 12 o'clock. Jesus Christ. It's pretty heavy mm. and fatty and salty. Mmm. Meat, good. Bacon, good. Mayonnaise and mustard, good. No onion and lettuce, good. Mm. Uh, the bread is um, pretty fresh. It's been warmed on the grill. Mm. So it has a smoky flavor. Awesome. And yeah, pancetta, so it's not like thick bacon. Yeah, it's not, it's not like, I guess, bacon you'd usually have in the West. It's more like Italian pancetta where it's mm. uh, smoked and dried uh, for a long period of time. So. Mm. Like a cross between chivap and cheese kebab. It's the same kind of bread, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Mm. Mm. And now we're heading into the forest to see various things. We're continuing our urban exploration, <laughs> kind of. But what's this? We're at our first spot. Okay, so uh, this right here is a monument uh, built by the German Field Marshal August von Mackensen uh, in 1915. So. In 1915, Serbia got invaded for the second time in the First World War by Germany, Austria, Hungary and Bulgaria from three sides. So it was only a matter of time before the whole country fell. There was a huge defense of Belgrade in 1915 and the German general that was commanding the invasion was um, inspired and surprised by the bravery of the Serb defenders. So before he continued after capturing Belgrade, he took his time to bury all the fallen defenders right here ah. and he built a monument and says uh, here ruins Derbyshe Helden which means um, uh, here lie the Serbian uh, heroes here lies Serbian heroes Serbian and German here ruins Serbische Helden and also just about 20 meters away from that first world war Serbian monument is Another one that's from the Second World War yes. is a Nazi monument, and you're saying that um, this was this has been yeah, left so, up uh, during the Second World War. The Germans actually came back here, where they built a monument to the Serbian defenders and built a bigger, more grand monument to their own invasion force that perished during the 1941 attack. Yeah. So, what well, we think? was an abandoned house from the 17th century that outlaws used to come to to hide but we think it might have been renovated now they used to house the forester forester's office or something oh it's open is there a dead body in here? this fly is oh, buzzing yeah. maybe there are some other dead animals Mm. All right, we're going uphill. Oh, I'm glad this isn't two and a half thousand meters. We've got birds singing, insects making whatever noise they make, possibly being bitten by mosquitoes. 
Where are we going next, Igor? Uh, we'll just be going through the forest until we reach uh, Top Cheater Park. Awesome. Right, this is surprisingly cool because we're at like a natural spring and we've just filled up our water bottles. It's cold, it's fresh, it's clean. I've never drunk out of a spring before. I used to live on a road called Spring Road, believe it or not. And it's really cool because um, there's locals just coming here, getting bottles of water, filling them up. There's an old woman over there, she's eating berries off the tree, which Igor has one of. What is this called? It's called a dud, or a, a dudinha. A dudinha? Yes. Ah, let's try and get the focus, right? Brilliant. It's a bit like a raspberry. I've never seen one of them yeah, before. Yeah, but it grows on a tree instead of a bush. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, yeah. This is um, real life in Belgrade. And for anyone that says Belgrade is full of old grey buildings and there are no green areas, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, this is the second oldest uh, train station in Serbia. It was built in 1884. Uh, Right after the first train station was built in Belgrade, the big one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the first stop on the way to Nish. Oh, okay. Or Nish. <laughs> so, as well as being a tram nerd, I'm also a train nerd. Look at the uh, graffiti on it. Cool. Bloody hell, there's a plane going over. We're just about to cross this rickety bridge. And because I quite enjoy climbing over dilapidated things, we're gonna do it, but there's a barrier. Maybe we shouldn't. I think I crossed last time. Oh, it should be fine. Yeah. Just stick to this side. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? So we're heading into Top Cheater. Top Cheater. I can't say it. Top Cheater Park, right? Yeah. Cannon Park. Cannon Valley. Cannon Valley. Sorry. Brilliant. Watch out for. Oh, there's a hole. The river is not that deep. Yep. All right. Okay. Awesome. Ah, we made it. Yeah, we're at a nice uh, building now with nice little alfresco dining. We're going to have some more stuff, aren't we? Uh, yes, what are we going to have? have Rakia. Brilliant. Uh, yes, so this is the, I guess, quintessential Serbian drink. And uh, in around all the Balkans, like you have Rakia and Macedonia and Albania and Croatia and Bosnia. And basically, it's not uh, uh, it's not the fruit from which it's made. It's the process. It's uh, using the special uh, kettle, yeah, to, to brew rakia, and you can basically make it from any fruit. And this right here is honey rakia. Honey rakia, beautiful. Jiveli. Jiveli. Ooh, it's really nice. It's really nice. So we we sip. We don't knock it back yes, like yes. a shot. Enjoy the flavor because rakia has a lot of flavor. It does. It's my first rakia, by the way. Cheers, Nazdravlje. Nasdra <laughs> <laughs> That's Russian. That's Russian. Yeah, I'm still in Minsk. You can say Nazdravlje, but yeah, Živeli is like uh, Živeli means let's live. Živeli. It's nice. So there's honey, apricot, plum, pear. I'm sure I've seen uh, another one. Grape. Before. Grape. Um, there's peach as well. There's. Um, Basically a thousand different, there's a uh, cherry. <laughs> How's the rakia? One of the best you've ever had? One of the best I've ever had. It's really flavorful. Awesome. But well, we've had rakia. Um, it was beautiful. Um, this building is the first um, residence of the modern royal family in Serbia, Eagles just told me. And outside of it is this tree, which is absolutely insane. It's called a London plane tree because it's a hybrid originating in the UK. A bit like me, I'm a hybrid. I'm 31% Serbian. Well, maybe not. Balkan. Um, and only 38% English. But look at the size of it. And it's like um, supported by these um, beams. And the tree has like grown around it. It's amazing. It's about 150 years old. Huge. We're at a chapel. And... I'm glad I did not bring my trumpet because trumpets are not allowed. <laughs> Apparently it's to do with weddings, right? Oh, look at that. Look at all the gold. Oh, it is quite special. I love churches <laughs> and love chapels. Churches. 
yeah, it's not massive, but it's quite compact and, you know, cute, actually. And, it's pretty old. and loads of gold. It's about 200 years old. 200 years old, wow. And what I love about Serbian churches, I feel like there's something missing. Where are the, the pews? That's what they're called, isn't it? The things you sit on. But, yeah, around the outside are the things you sit on. Mount Athos in Greece, which is a monastic center for all Orthodox Christians. Yeah. And over there they pray similar to Muslims. Oh, I see. Yeah. On, the on the floor. floor okay. Yeah. Bow to the altar. Interesting. So maybe it's from the church. Yeah. Of course. Orthodox Christianity. Well, we're coming to the end of this video now. And just to point out how far we've come today, all the way over there, apparently. And now we're here, still in the same forest. Yeah, pretty much. Just dissected by different roads. Yeah. So we're just walking back and we're in, wait for it. Uh, Senjak, which is a uh, rich district. I look like I'm really short, I'm on the road. <laughs> So yeah, rich district. Who knew there were rich districts in Belgrade? Because a lot of there people think there are two. There are two. Yeah, a lot of um, people think it's just Savamala and falling apart buildings, but no, there are mansions with 15 entrances possibly. In the middle of a forest. Yeah, somewhere. in the middle of a forest. <laughs> it's a bit like um, I was just saying. It's a bit like Palanco in Mexico City has the same kind of feel. Interesting. Maybe we'll explore that in a future video. Who knows? Um, yeah. So thanks to Igor, everyone, once again for providing us with a multitude of. Historical information. Yeah. <laughs> Too much history. My mind is overblown. Um, Blown over, I don't know. But um, I had Rakia, it was amazing. Shish Chavap was also the best thing I've ever read in my whole life. And um, <laughs> we've had an adventure today and the whole point is, what was it? About green, yeah. Yeah, greenery, mountains, forests and stuff like that. Mm. It's hiking. Not, yeah, hiking, adventure, exploration, abandoned buildings. Brilliant. So, um, also, uh, <laughs> check out Belgrade Eats. Um, oh, yeah. We forgot that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you want to see where to eat in Belgrade. Brilliant, yeah. Instagram post galore. Lovely, we'll catch you later. Bye. <laughs>